Welcome to Octopus Tutorial. In this video, we will cover some of the Octopus basics and then guide you to create your first scraper. In Octopus, to create a scraper is to create a task. For task building, Octopus offers two modes Wizard Mode and Advanced Mode. Advanced Mode is flexible and powerful. It allows you to achieve complex data scraping cases, such as extracting behind login, keyword searching, or opening a drop down. If your requirement is very simple, you can try Wizard Mode. Under Wizard Mode, there are pre built templates and step by step guidance. We strongly recommend Advanced Mode. With Advanced Mode, the task can be configured with more flexibility to better meet your specific requirements. In this tutorial, we will guide you to build your first task with Advanced Mode. We use the Yellow Pages website for example. Let's say we want to get some specific data of all auto repair shops near San Francisco. We are going to enter the detail page of each shop and get the shop name, address, contact number, shop's website link, and one shop front photo. The scraping process can be split into five main steps. Step 1. Open the target web page. Step 2. Create a pagination loop. Step 3. Create a loop item. Step 4. Select the data to extract. Step 5. Run the task to get data. Now, let's start. Step 1. Open the target web page in Octopus. Select Advanced Mode. Click Plus Task. In the URL extraction box, enter the URL of the web page you're going to scrape. Here, we paste the URL of the first result page from searching auto repair near San Francisco on the yellow pages. Click Save URL. We enter the task configuration interface. The website to scrape will be loaded in the built in browser. Switch on workflow mode for a better picture. Now, we can start building our first task. Step 2. Create a pagination loop. To scrape data of all auto repair shops through multiple result pages, we need to create a pagination loop. Click the Next Page button on the page in the built-in browser. Select Loop Click Next Page from Action Tips. Then in the workflow, you can see a pagination loop with a click to paginate action inside is created. Step 3. Create a loop item. In the built-in browser, you can notice that now we are on the second result page. Click Go to Web Page to go back to the first page. When extracting data through multiple pages, you should always begin your task building on the first page. Before creating the loop item, we need to have the pagination loop selected so we can help Octopus decide the execution order and generate the loop item at the appropriate position in the workflow. Click the very first shop name listed on the page. Once the name is selected, it would be highlighted in green. The rest of shop names on the first resolved page would be highlighted in red to indicate that Octopus has identified them as similar elements. Click Select All 
from action tips. Once you click select all, all shop names will be highlighted in green. Select loop click each element. In the workflow, you can see a loop item is generated inside the pagination loop. Step 4. Select the data to extract. You can notice that after selecting loop click each element from action tips, we will be entering the detail page of the very first auto repair shop. Now, we can start select the desired data for Octopus to extract. Click the shop name, address, and contact number. Select Extract Data from Action Tips. Then click the shop's website link. Select Extract the URL of the selected link. Finally, click One Shop Photo. Select Extract the URL of the selected image. If you need, you can modify each data field name. You can select from the list of predefined names or input whatever you like. When you finish configuring the task, always remember to click Save. We've done. We've completed the configuration of our first task. Before running the task, let's see the execution order of task actions in the workflow. It is very important to understand the workflow order. For task actions in the workflow, Octopus executes each action from the top down, and actions wrapped in loop item would be executed for multiple times. For this task, the execution order of task actions is Go to web page Click item Extract data Click to paginate First, Octopus would open the first search result page of Auto Repair near San Francisco. Next, Octopus would enter the loop of click item and extract data. It would click all shops listed on the first page, one by one, from the first to the last, to enter the detail page. Then from the detail page, extract the shop name, contact number, shop's website link, and one shop front photo. Finally, when Octopus completes scraping the last shop on the first page, it would execute click to paginate to go to the next page, where it would repeat what it has done on the first page. The workflow order can be modified by dragging the task actions up and down. In step 3, create a loop item, we've mentioned that before creating the loop item, we should have the pagination loop selected. If we create the loop item with go to web page action being selected, the workflow would be like this. Here, we can fix the workflow order by dropping the loop item into the pagination loop manually. To have a task achieved, Octopus has to execute each action you configured in the appropriate order. So we'd better figure out the right execution order before beginning building a specific task. Final step. Run the task to get data. After completing task configuration, we can click Start Extraction to run the task to get data. Octopus offers two extraction ways. Local extraction, that is, to run the task on your local machine, and cloud extraction, 
which means the task would be run in the cloud. Local extraction is available for both free and premium users. As local extraction is running the crawler on your local machine, you can see the whole extracting process and the data extracted. But the process will be affected by the local network speed and hardware configuration. For premium users, cloud extraction will be your best choice. With cloud extraction, you can shut down the app or your computer while the task is running. No need to worry about hardware limitation. Data extracted will be saved in the cloud and can be accessed anytime. Task scheduling is also supported by cloud extraction. To retrieve the most updated information, you can schedule your task to run as frequently as you need. Here, we set the task to run in local. Our first task with Octopus is accomplished. Now, you've learned the basics about Octopus and also accomplished your first task. Thank you for watching.